So as you can see today, I'm in a park enjoying a little bit of a blustery day, uh, but I thought it'd be a good day to go out and actually, you know, rescope, rethink, and actually just be away from the computer for a bit. Uh, and so I thought in today's Salesforce Unraveled, let's talk a little bit about work-life balance. So a bit more of a soft topic, so not necessarily strictly related to Salesforce, it relates to everything, but I think Salesforce can play a quite important role in this. Now, why is that? Well, we all just have a big pandemic behind us. Well, hopefully nearly behind us. It's still, still of course, slightly going on, uh, which means that a lot of us have been working from home, which had been great, of course, uh, but also quite a bit of a challenge. First of all, of course, you're at home. You have potentially have children to take care of, partners that are around. And so it could be quite challenging to actually make sure that you don't work more than you want to work. You know, it's so easy when you're at home, especially if you have not a dedicated place to just sit down, open your laptop. And before you know it, you're working away 9, 10, 12 hours a day. The other thing with working from home is, of course, you miss a bit of the social impact of having in an office and having contact with other people, you know, the, the famous coffee chat at the machine or at the water machine, or, you know, you all go out for a lunch break. That, of course, is a bit gone. You know, but also the benefit of working from home is, at least that's what I think, is it is a quite nice place. Uh, you avoid travel time. You know, I used to travel to London, which would take me well over an hour each way. And so instead of that, I can actually spend the quality time at home for that hour. And one of the things I do is like now is go out for a walk. And before, when I was working in the office, I didn't really have a lot of time for that. Now, how does Salesforce play in all of this, you would think? Well, the famous thing with Salesforce is, it's anytime, any place, anywhere. And so what do we mean by that is, you know, it's cloud-based. So as long as you have internet connection, you can always connect to Salesforce, either through an app or through just going into a, a browser and typing your URL in there. And that can be quite tricky. So especially if you use the app and if you have your notifications on, before you know it, you know, messages start pinging out and about throughout the day. You know, you might be queuing at the supermarket to pay for your groceries. You might be in a doctor's practice or maybe, you know, at your child's school's play or sports event or something like that. And, you know, if you have your notifications on, they start pinging and you will pick up your phone and you start maybe responding to them. Which is also nice because it means you're not dedicated to sitting at home all day and only working from there. But of course, the balance between where do you work and not work can be become quite a tricky one. And it's then really down to how you stand in your life, how you work with your boss, how you work with your company to make sure that, you know, you're not working more than you should be and to make sure that you also have time for yourself. Now, one of the nice things I also now think is with this whole situation about working from home and Salesforce being any place, any time is it also opens up a whole world. So for example, I, you know, I'm a contractor, I'm a trainer. Uh, I work from home most of my time and I'm not really bound to any place. And that for me has opened up all kinds of contacts from all over the world. So over the past couple of years, I've been doing projects in Europe, all over Europe, whereby I didn't have to travel, I could do it from home. I've been doing projects in America. I've been doing projects in Australia. Australia is a challenge, I have to say, because that means I have to work night times. Uh, which is not as easy. But for example, with America, it just means, you know, I go work a little bit later, so I start late. You know, you start in the afternoon, you work till after dinner. Your dinner is basically your lunchtime for there. And it means that you can work till late at night um, and you just sleep in a bit longer. And it does mean that you can get opportunities at you that you normally wouldn't get. I think a lot of people forget um, it's still fresh for a lot of people to work from home. You know, I've been there for the better part of over a decade now that people think that you have to work in the same place as where you live. So if you live in London, you work in London. You know, if you live just outside London, you most likely also end up working in London. Uh, if you live in New York, you work in New York, etc. Actually now, by working from home and it becoming so much more popular, it is actually possible to work differently and to actually say, for example, like I did, I took projects up in Europe. And it actually worked out really well. It can also for you work out really well with your home life balance. Because you might say, actually, if I could start my workday two hours later by working from a different time zone, a different country, it means in the mornings I can spend quality time with my family. 
It means that when there is a lunch break, it's a dinner break. So that also would work out. And then I'll work okay in the evenings. The family, the partners whatsoever are already in bed. I just work an extra two hours. But it means that I can actually spend quality time when I want to with the people that I want to spend my time with. So I think for me, this whole situation over the last couple of years has actually made it far easier to look further in the world. Of course, the downside is also is the competition field has opened far wider. You know, before you were only competing with the people in your area. Now you're pretty much competing with everybody else in the world. And so for that, it's important also that you make sure that you stand out. So we talked already in some of the other videos about learning paths. Uh, we talked about trailhead and all those things. It's important that you do those things and to find your best way to deal with all of this. I think it has ups and downs. Uh, I think it's the way of the future. I think it will be far more people getting maybe combined contracts. That is like maybe a couple of days in the office, a lot working from home, maybe full time working from home. Salesforce also really makes that really easy because it's cloud based. You don't have to download anything as long as you have Internet at home. You know, you're good. That's the only requirement. Um, of course, it, it, electricity goes with it, but you know, and with the current rise in electricity bills, it can become quite challenging. But as long as you have internet, you know, you're good. Um, it also means that if you maybe want a bit more of a free lifestyle, you might say, okay, maybe for a couple of months, I want to live in another country. You might still be able to do your job from your existing country by just taking the laptop along, but enjoying maybe another climate, maybe other weather but still be able to do your job. Because like I said, the only thing you need is your laptop uh, and an internet connection. Of course, when you start traveling and working in other places, do make sure that your org has the right security settings so that you can work abroad. Uh, but as long as that is sorted, you know, your world is your oyster. You no longer have to move places to actually work for different companies. Uh, so with that, I'm going to keep it nice and short today as I'm out and about and I do want to spend a little bit more time decompressing from the day. Uh, and so I hope you enjoyed this chat. Uh, if you want to know more, if you have any comments, questions whatsoever, the usual social media stuff, like, subscribe and use that comment box. Also, if there's any other topics you want me to talk about, uh, please drop a message in the comment section below. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next Salesforce on Raffled. Bye.